Today we are learning all about Redomulse SCG, one of the first emulsifying waxes that I really fell in love with. I've been working with Redomulse SCG since 2012, and if you haven't tried it yet after this video, I think you just might want to. Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today's video is a deep dive into Redomulse SCG. In today's video, we will be covering what Redomulse SCG is, why we use it in our formulations, how to use it, what you can use instead, and then we'll wrap up with five free formulations that you can make using Redomol's SCG. As always, please think of these ingredient deep dive videos as the partner video for the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia entry on the same ingredient. So if you're looking for a quick written reference, please make sure you check that out. I'll link to it in the description box below. What is Redomol's SCG? Redomol's SCG is a natural, vegan, anionic or negatively charged self-thickening emulsifying wax that creates oil in water emulsions. It's one of the first emulsifying waxes that I ever worked with and I used it quite extensively in my Formula Botanica Diploma of Organic Skincare Formulation coursework. If you'd like to read my review of that course or perhaps give Formula Botanica a try for free, I have linked to both my review and a free formulation masterclass that Formula Botanica is running soon in the description box below this video, so feel free to scroll down and check those things out. The Inky for Redomol's SCG is glycerol stearate and cetyryl alcohol and sodium stearyl lactylate. According to Making Cosmetics, it is approximately 60% glycerol stearate, 25% cetyryl alcohol, and 15% sodium stearyl lactylate. Redomol's SCG is made by Redacorp, but Clarient also sells a product called Plantasens Emulsifier HP30 with an identical inky. You'll find products with this inky sold as Ecomulse, Emulsimulse, Cream Maker Mix, and many other creative names, often including Mulse. So make sure you are looking at the inky of whatever you're buying to make sure you know what it is. Redomol's SCG is sold as thin white brittle flakes and can look a lot like other thin white brittle flakes, so make sure you are double checking your labels when you're formulating so you don't mix anything up. Why do we use Redomol's SCG in our formulations? Very basically, we use it for the same reason we would use any emulsifying wax in a formulation. It brings together oil and water to create stable emulsified lotions and creams. It also helps thicken our formulations, though this isn't its primary function, and it contributes rinse off or easy wash off to cleanser formulations like cleansing bombs. Since there are plenty of other ingredients out there that do those jobs, why choose Redomol's SCG in particular? Emulsions made with Redomol's SCG are beautifully thick and silky and have a very luxurious powdery dry down on the skin. I find it's very easy to work with. I've made many hand stirred emulsions using Redomol's SCG and compared to a lot of other natural emulsifiers like Olive M1000 or Montanov 68, it is way less soapy. Redomol's SCG also boosts the moisturizing properties of our formulations. In conclusion, you don't really need Redomol's SCG. It is less versatile than some other natural emulsifying waxes, which we'll discuss in the next section of this video, but I do really love the way it makes emulsions feel. And if you love trying new emulsifiers, I would definitely add this one to the list of emulsifiers to try, especially if you prefer to make natural formulations. How do you work with Redomol's SCG? Well, first things first, it's a solid, so you're going to need to melt it to do much of anything with it. It melts around 81 degrees Celsius or 178 degrees Fahrenheit. I usually include Redomol's SCG in my heated oil phase, and it works to emulsify at 20 to 25% of the oil phase, though it is only suitable for oil phases up to 25% of the entire formulation. Rita Corp states that the ideal pH range for formulations made with Redomol's SCG is in the five to 7.5 range. This may be incompatible with with some natural preservatives which function better at lower pHs than 5. However, Clarion says that their inky identical Plantasens Emulsifier HP30 works with a pH range of 4 to 10, so I think you're likely to be fine working with a wider pH range than the one that Redacorp suggests. I have definitely broken emulsions made with Redomol's SCG by lowering the pH too much though, so it can happen. Tread carefully if you are working with natural preservatives that cause the pH of your formulation to really drop, because that can break your emulsion, or if it's something like Jogard Ultra that you add to the heated water phase, it can just mean that your emulsion never forms. Because Redomol's SCG is anionic, it can be more sensitive to electrolytes than than non-ionic emulsifiers. But that said, I've never really had any issues formulating with Redomol's SCG and a bunch of high electrolyte things like aloe vera and hydrolyzed proteins. That anionicness also means that Redomol's SCG won't play well with all cationic ingredients. If you're formulating with Redomol's SCG and are encountering stability issues, make sure you check the pH of your formulation, the charge of the other ingredients in the formulation, and the electrolyte richness of the other ingredients in your formulation. You'll also want to be sure that your oil phase isn't too big. This is what I meant when I said that Redomol's 
SCG isn't as versatile as other emulsifying waxes. It's definitely got some more kind of parameters around its successful use, but when used successfully, I do think it's gorgeous. What can you use instead of Reed Emulse SCG? For starters, you will need another complete self-thickening emulsifying wax. I do find the skin feel of emulsions made with Reed Emulse SCG is really uniquely lovely, and so that's going to change if you swap it out. These swaps are all one for one, unless otherwise stated. For natural alternatives, all of them 1000 will work, but I do find it can be more soapy. Montanov 68 will also work, but I find it is even soapier than all of them 1000 the Aqual 2W will also work. I don't have a ton of experience with this emulsifier, but in my limited experience working with it, it is gorgeous. Plantasens HE20 is also a good alternative, though I do tend to feel like this emulsifier creates slightly thinner emulsions than Reed Emulse SCG does, so you might want to incorporate an extra 1-2% to of something like Cetyl Alcohol or Cetyryl Alcohol into your formulation to make up for that viscosity drop. And for one more natural alternative, Glycerol Stearate SE will work, but you will want to make sure that your formulation includes some small percentage of a gum or a gelling ingredient like Cepamaxin so that you get a nice stable emulsion. For a non-natural one-to-one alternative, emulsifying wax NF will work beautifully. I do tend to think that those emulsions are also just a wee bit thinner than ones made with Reed Emulse SCG, so you might again want to incorporate 1% subtle alcohol to give a little viscosity bump. And for some not one-to-one -one alternatives, you could try Glycerol Stearate and PEG 100 Stearate or Montanov 202. You'll only need about half as much of these emulsifiers and then you'll want to make up that other half with some sort of a fatty thickener like satyryl alcohol or cetyl alcohol because these emulsifiers don't thicken our formulations. And for ingredients that you can't use, you cannot use a true wax like beeswax or candelilo wax or a standalone fatty thickener like satyryl alcohol or cetyl alcohol because those ingredients are not emulsifiers and so if you take a thing that's an emulsifier and then you, instead you use a thing that is not an emulsifier, you will not have a very happy end product. And let's wrap up with five free formulations that you can make using Reed Emulse SCG. Formulation number one is my super simple natural lotion. If you have never made lotion before, this is a great place to start. As the name sort of hints at, this formulation is super simple and natural. Because the natural preservative we are using does have a specific pH range requirement, you do need to be able to test and adjust the pH of this formulation. So if you aren't quite there yet in your formulating journey, check out my my super simple moisturizing lotion and you can use Reed Emulse SCG instead of the emulsifying wax NF called for in that formulation. Very easy one-to-one -one swap. Formulation number two is my Winter Solstice Oil-Free Facial Moisturizer. This formulation is part of my ongoing Winter Solstice theme. It is a lightweight, oil-free gel cream that leans towards the natural side of things. You just have to swap out the preservative if you want it to be a 100% natural formulation. Luxurious Hyaluronic Acid, Fragrant Rose Hydrosol, and Skin Soothing Elantoin are paired with Ultralight Neosance Heme Squalane and a natural silicone alternative to create a fast-absorbing, deeply hydrating face cream that gets a moisturizing boost from its emulsifier. Read Emulse SCG. Formulation number three is my Hemp and Shea Hand and Body Lotion. Rich shea butter and vibrant green hemp seed oil star in this hydration-focused hand and body lotion that's emulsified with Read Emulse SCG. I've kept the oil phase to just 13.5% so this lotion doesn't feel greasy and added some of my favorite skin soothing ingredients like calendula, Bisabolol, Elantoin, Panthenol, and Colloidal Oatmeal. Formulation number four is my Sugar Plum Facial Lotion. This formulation is from 2018's Sugar Plum Holiday Making Theme, and I'll let Elizabeth tell you about it. I just wanted to say that this is the best moisturizer I have ever used. I literally mean ever. For many years, I have used all kinds of high-end products, think Lancome, Estee Lauder, and Kiehl's, but not quite La Mer. I'm a product junkie. I've used many products that I really like. I am now DIYing my entire skincare, hair care, and body care routine, except retinol and SPF stuff, and this moisturizer has made my skin the healthiest and brightest it has ever been. I made it as a gift for my 70-ish year old aunt, and she has noticed great results too. Thank you so much for your wonderful site and recipes. We are kindred spirits, and I enjoy your musings so much. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I definitely teared up a little bit when you originally left that comment over on humblebeeandme.com. And the last project that you can make using Reed Emulse SCG is my Watermelon Mint Lotion. Made with Perky Peppermint Hydrosol, Lightweight Watermelon Oil, Slippy Daikon Seed Extract, and a touch of Watermelon Fragrance for a fruity minty scent, 
This fast absorbing lotion is brilliant for spring and summer. If you like watermelon minty things, I did an entire series of watermelon mint formulations back in 2020. So head over to humblebeeandme.com search and type in watermelon mint to find them. And that is it. If you would like to make a super simple natural lotion using Redomos SCG, click here. And if you would like to learn about six lotion myths that you should stop believing, click here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.